First, we'll look at registers. Again, reg a register is a small uh, storage area. It is memory, very high speed memory. It's generally located physically on the substrate that is the CPU itself. It is immediately accessible to the CPU, so the CPU can read directly from it and can write directly to it. Next is the ALU, or the Arithmetic and Logic Unit. The ALU, again, performs most of the work inside the CPU. He's the guy that does all the math and all the logic functions inside the system itself. The control unit, again, acts as a traffic cop. It's the control unit's job to coordinate the instructions and the data that is going to flow into and then out of the CPU. If the control unit is doing his job well, everything moves very uh, smoothly and efficiently. This is a great diagram that shows how the control unit first aligns instructions and data into generally what's called cache memory first. We'll talk about cache memory in a few moments. Uh, another term for instruction, by the way, is a thread. This instruction that we see in the diagram is actually also referred to as a thread. It is the actual process or small component of a process that the CPU is going to be working on. So the control unit first takes instructions and data from the cache memory area, which again is another storage area we'll be referring to momentarily, and he then directs those two components, the instructions and the data, into the registers. By the way, another word for register is a buffer. A buffer is also the, a register. So the control unit aligns the instruction and the data into the register, waiting for the CPU to finish whatever work he's doing at the moment and become available. When the CPU does complete the processing that he's performing at, the, uh, at that point in time, the control unit then instructs the instruction and the data from the registers to proceed into the processor for the actual processing work. There are two types of registers. We have general registers, which we just saw, the buffers that we saw in the preceding diagram. These would be considered general registers. But then we also have special registers that are used more for control. One of the components that is significant here is the program status word and the program status word we'll be discussing a little further in just a moment. The significant component about the PSW is that it holds the bit, the flag, that identifies whether the particular component of processing, the thread and data, is operating in what's called user mode or operating in what's called privileged mode. User mode is a lesser trusted mode of operation where we're actually performing work for a subject and privileged mode is where it is the kernel of the operating system. The most trusted component in, in the system is the kernel and in privileged mode we have full run on the system. The kernel is allowed to access any resource or object in the system whereas user mode is much more controlled, much more restricted. So again, this PSW holds the bit that identifies the level of security that the CPU is currently operating in.